the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro for the iPhone 11. Not the Pro, not the Max Pro or whatever, the regular iPhone 11. These are my favorite phone cases, by the way. I'm actually recording with the blue one on my 8 Plus right now, which is still my favorite phone. I'm not into the whole swiping thing of the newer phones. I like the Touch ID as well, but this is for my phone on my second line, which is a red phone you'll see me put on here in a minute. But the person I have this phone for is not into the red like I am and wants something a little more girly, so that's cool. Not for me, no big deal. But good cases. So what I always say to do with these cases is first thing you want to do is you want to take off this goofy little plastic screen protector. It's the only thing I don't like about these cases. So what I do is I take this off and then we will, we will pop out the inside screen protector on here. So I'm guessing, yeah, so all this goes on like so. That's what you do. Try not to break anything. They're pretty tough cases, though. So what you do is you take this thing out. I'm going to use my knife or something to pop this thing out real good. And then take this off. Because the case itself is, is great for my uses. And I don't carry this little kind of like boomer looking pocket thing that the old guys carry and that you slide on your phone like that or whatever for your belt so but what this is good for is you want to carry it around in your bag or something like that you want to toss it in there not worry about your screen or whatever getting scratched this is good for that and it provides some extra bump protection and stuff like that so pretty cool but not something I typically carry every day though it's a good option to have on hold and it comes with the phone so no big deal you're not paying anything extra on this new version, you've got this little clippy thing that you can lay down and watch your little movies or shows or you're like FaceTiming or whatever like that. And I suppose if you wanted some extra grip, you could do something like that. Not worry about dropping your phone. So that's cool. Nice little grip. In addition to the excellent grip that's already on the phone case itself got the rubber grip you've got the indentations and all that stuff great phone cases i've had many of these over the years on iphones and ipads by subcase well made great value great price i think this was like 20 to 25 bucks shipped from amazon so pretty cool right so let me get off this little little screen protector thing without destroying anything and i'll get back to you so if you look closely case goes on there or the uh, the screen protector goes on the inside of the case like this right this is what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you're gonna push everything out and it's in there pretty good it's it's glued on there pretty well so I think let me get the old knife I'm gonna come in here and gently Get everything out of there okay so I came in here with a very pointy knife and I just gently pop that out like that now I don't need that anymore so I'm going to gently try to take the rest of this out here and see how it's gonna pop apart like that so it may not be as easy as I thought but I'm just gonna take all this junk out it may not be pretty no big deal rip all this junk out of here and then I'm gonna clean up the rest at the end with a knife it would be nice if this was easier to get out gently so you stay I see I still have some little pieces sticking out like that's so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna cut all that out of there just get it out of the way having a good sharp knife or a scalpel or razor blade type thing is useful for this part of things so let me do that clean it all up real quick and i'll get back to you okay so i got all the junk out of there or most of it at least to where it'll be good enough i just scraped everything out of there with the side of my knife 
very gently. So I'll go back, I'll get the phone, and I'll stick the phone in there, pop this on top, and we'll be good to go. All right, so make sure your phone is nice and clean. I like these new iPhone 11s. I like the colors and everything on them. Good cameras and everything like that. I just wish they had Touch ID or the Touch ID in the screen like they're about to do or whatever. I'm not a big fan of the whole facial scanning and stuff like that, but whatever. They're cool phones, right? So you put your front part on, right? You stick the bottom on. Just kind of push it in corner by corner. And there you go, super simple. I like how the, the camera module is even red, but pretty cool. Nice little phone case, right? You can see the phone through the cracks there. Got your little grip right there, or you can lay it down to watch your shows or FaceTime or whatever. Sweet phone case. I've had these on all my iPads and my iPhones and everything for the past few years. I've dropped an iPad down a flight of stairs, phones out of my truck, etc. And they've all survived pretty well. So these things pay for themselves when you go to resell your phone or your iPad when you're going to upgrade and stuff like that. You want it in good condition. So for 20 bucks, it's a lot better insurance than you can get from Apple or whoever. Where they charge like 100 bucks for their, their insurance. It's silly. Just take care of your phone and keep it in a nice case like this. And in a year or two, when you upgrade or whatever, you're good to go. But yeah, love these cases. Awesome. Here's the clip holster. So if you want to do the whole middle-aged golf dad type thing, you can stick it in here, wear it on your belts or whatever. What I like it for is just throwing it in your, your bag or whatever like that, not worrying about the screen and all that stuff getting scratched or banged up. So it's kind of cool for certain uses like that. I don't know how much I would trust this carrying it on my belt. You don't want to be walking around one day and then you feel down for your phone. Your phone's not there because it got bumped or it fell out of the clip or something like that. I just don't trust these things in general. I'm sure they're okay and well-made, but too paranoid for that. But pretty cool. They're, they're good for certain uses, but it's included, so... Who cares? Might as well use it occasionally, right?